Tosca is big drama. It's a, it's a beautiful journey. It's a movie, you know. It's a movie. It's action. It's drama. It's a murder. It's a moment of love. The last act is full of amazing, transparent. When they're talking about going away, we have the orchestra like touching, touching the sounds like they are going really in another world. They want to go, and let's say that Tosca believes, I think, till the end that she could save him. But I think that Cavaradossi already knows that when he's leaving her, that he knows that. Scarpe will never forgive him, so, I mean, even if he's dead, you know. I love to discover every time something different. And I'm really surprised how the orchestra reacts because it's a fantastic, fantastic musician. And it's not easy, you know, because they are a symphonic orchestra, and, but uh, they were so ready to adapt. And I'm very happy that I found this musician, really. Pentaton and Polyhymnia worked together with uh, RSB for many, many years. Many projects in this wonderful Zendezaal, Haus des Rundfunks, that has a particularly good acoustics that supports the orchestra tremendously. And it's uh, a very exciting to do an opera in this way, which is now like a concertante uh, fashion, um, because you get the full sound of the orchestra and the way we uh, are able to position the soloists, it means we also have the great sound of the soloist with that. So it's, it's an orchestral, um, like a Rolls Royce, it's, it's really big, and still we have all the sounds of the, of the soloists with that. Um, and that makes it very special. So I'm very happy also to work with the um, Ruth von Chor Berlin. We had fun in the rehearsal and they enjoy a lot to be part of this. Close your eyes, you put your headphones, you put your speaker and you listen. For sure, live performance is live performance, but if you try to communicate these things, it can go through also the, every media you want to use. You know?